or that the why would make it funny. It's called, the title is Skeletonics. Uh, John Skelton, um, was he 14th century? 14th, I think so. 15th. 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 Yeah, it was 14th something. Yeah. Right, I couldn't count it. Uh, it was 15th century, and John Skelton, um, Skeltonics comes, the term Skeltonics come from John Skelton, who would keep rhyming until the rhyme dies out, and then he goes on to another. <laughs> so my, my title is Skeltonics, you see. I tend not to rhyme, because it's very difficult to rhyme when you write serious poetry nowadays after the, the 19th century when people have used up all the best rhymes in English. Uh -huh. In any case, English doesn't lend itself to rhyming. I mean, after all, rhyming, I think, came in as Chaucer, who learnt it from the Italians. Um, rhyming not being a Latinic language, a Romance language, like French, Italian. Uh, the English language doesn't really lend itself to rhyme. I look at Shakespeare. He rhymed in his early plays, and then he found out much better not to write. So he wrote black verse. Black verse is poetry. So it's the rhythmic structure, which is much more important in English than rhyming. But I do rhyme when I want to be funny, mocking, or satirical. Uh, let's see. This is, of course, I don't know whether I should tell you. Um, maybe I'll read it first and then. Mm specific. That one is 40 years to go. This is also 10 years on, alright? So it's the same subject really. 10 years on and what have we got? Good times, bad times, the lot. The first headman was put on the spot. Up north, noticed the snot and made him trot. The new man, a sot, he was not. Still, he wasn't all that hot. Before the dreaded slot, everybody said the city would rot. But nothing has gone to pot. Oh no, oh no, we have not lost the pot. 